Stefan, there's always a lot of debate about whether people should be investing in property or shares. What's your preference? Look, I think that that debate has, uh, I suppose, raged for years. Uh, I think it's really important that people have the appropriate blend of both property and shares. It's not really a, a question of if or you know, which one of those two is appropriate, because both of them are appropriate. It's a question of getting the structuring right. So when it comes to investing in property or shares, do you think that you should invest in one before the other? Look, I think, again, it's a personal, personal decision based on their total financial situation. But I think, importantly, property is a real key to build up uh, equity. So we, we would recommend in most cases that people look at getting themselves established in a home and then actually building some equity in that home and then eventually looking at uh, other types of investments like shares, for example. Do you have any advice for people who are looking to invest in property at the moment? Look, I think importantly, when you're looking at any in investment, whether it's property or shares, that you actually do do some, some thorough research. You get to people and get some advice from people who actually know both markets. And again, it's a blend of the two. Uh, it's not just about going and buying an investment property or investing in shares. It's making sure that your entire portfolio is actually well diversified across both property and shares. So what are your top three tips for people who are looking to buy investment homes? Uh, I wouldn't have a top three tip because again, it's, it's, very, it's a very personal uh, situation. I mean, obviously th there's lots of opportunities out there in the market, uh, whether you're investing in the Adelaide market, which uh, as we know is a much more stable market than most of our, the markets around Australia, or whether you're in fact looking at shares. It really comes down to what are your objectives, what are you trying to achieve, and putting together a, a good solid plan for the future. And interest rates are always a hot topic, so what's going on there at the moment? Look, interest rates, I suppose uh, we love talking about interest rates. Uh, I don't think the landscape has changed a hell of a lot in the last few months. Um, obviously, we've had the, the floods in, in Queensland, which has probably delayed uh, the Reserve Bank's action. But I think the fundamentals are still pretty much the same, you know, which is the global economy is recovering. Australia's economy is growing pretty strongly. Uh, China looks like it's, it's continuing its, its very strong growth. So all of that means the Australian economy will continue to grow. And if the Australian economy grows, interest rates will have to go up. So if I was going to give a tip without being too specific, I'd say you're looking at at least uh, five basis points up to a 75 basis, basis point increase over the next sort of six months.